All right, now to the fun stuff. Once again, this is Lemo. This is a mixed breakdown of a song called Other Side. Let's start with just checking out the track a little bit and then I'll go through what you'll hear on the drums and what I used and basically the most minimalism to get great sounds. So here's the track. That little bit of reverb here is the live auxiliary of the Audioscape. So, the drums. It's kind of an elaborate setup. Uh, on the kick drum, we had a um, company called United. Uh, they make a great FET 47, in the spirit of a FET 47. And we had that on kick. On the inside of the kick drum, I had a SM98. The snare was a, um, a Unidyne 56, which is like Van Halen era, kind of like a 57, but of back in the day. Underneath the snare, I had a Peluso P414. The toms were Lawton 308s. The ride and the, and the hi-hats were mic'd with these 60 mics that I love. They're my favorite dynamics called AKG uh, D224Es. They have two elements in them, wicked microphones. And then the overheads were Warm Audio 67s. That is correct. That is what I said. I did this, like a demo of a lot of warm mics, and I used their uh, 67s kind of in Bonzo Led Zeppelin style. And I had a pair of AKG C12As, which are phenomenal mics. And I remember getting this 3D image that I loved about them, and I got the same thing out of the U67s for warm. So I have a pair of warms that I use on almost every session. I know, I know. You're just gonna have to go out and buy a pair to really try them. So here, if I break down the drums, here is just the warm 67s, and I ran them into the 1178 as a pair, committed them just a little bit, like maybe one dB of processing, and I'll let you hear that with uh, the kick drum. Now I've added the snare and the beater side. That's only the 267 setup Led Zeppelin style. So that's the kick drum. I do put a mic hanging over the beater, and that's that snap that you hear. So I don't use an EQ, I use a mic. That mic is literally just hanging down above the beater. So like everything we were talking about on minimalism and committing, the drums are tuned. It's a great drummer. I've taken a lot of time to make sure my mics are set up the way I want them. I've um, exploited some mics more than others. Some of them are just blended in. My mic selection has a lot to do with the 3D image of the drums. The Lawton Toms, the Warm 67s are mind-blowing. The United kick is just massive. So. When I look at the drums, the only thing I really wanted was reverb, and like I said, I put reverb on the snares, uh, top and bottom, and that was a, an EMT plate. It's one of my favorite. Look up the drums of a song called Rock Candy by Montrose with Sammy Hagar singing. Rock Candy are my favorite drums, so these drums are a little bit like Sunset Sound, Rock Candy drums. That won't make sense unless you hear that song, so check it out. 
And like I said, I have one EQ, which is just cutting a little bit on the hi-hat. I have a delay that's delaying the room. So that, and my rooms are, which are just over here, you can't see them. They're, the mics sit on a piece of plywood and they're on the floor. My room has carpet. But I wanted the drum sounds to, as the drummer plays so loud, I wanted the sound to hit the, uh, the wood and then go into these Omni microphones. The Mojave MA37 is a, is a, in the spirit of a Sony C37, that's set to Omni. That's right on the floor. So if you look at the kick drum, my room mics are about a foot and a half or two feet out in front of it. And both mics are facing just outside the outer edge of the kick drum. So like this mic is almost facing the bottom of the snare, the rack tom. This mic is almost looking at the floor tom underneath the ride. And they're on the floor and they're omnis and I put these gobos around them. So I'm, oh, I'm just trying to get a picture of the floor. And the reason I'm even slipping them back in time, I could put the mics out farther in the room. I feel like when I move the mics farther away, the sound isn't really enhanced as much. And when I keep the mic close to the kit, it sounds thick and huge. And then when I delay it digitally using digital, it gives me some distance on them. So I can get this intense sound and move it a little bit back in time. And it sounds really great with the drums. So I'll let you hear the drums without the room mics and then I'll add them. It's just a little bit of hair on the edges. I really love it. And once again, it's blendable, it's mixable. Maybe you're like, oh, I don't really like that. Then I'll just put them lower. If you were mixing this, you can put them lower. Why not? Um, have the audio police come arrest me, <laughs> you know? Um, so those are the drums. You can see my screen. There's really nothing going on except I'm busting them over, doing a mix to them.